Hi, I'm Johnny with Balloon Animals Palm Beach, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Shih Tzu dog balloon. So what you're going to need is five white 260s, one mocha 260, two mocha heart balloons, one white 5 inch round, one red 160, one white 160, and then for the two eyes, I use two 260 scraps that are black, and they're each about four fingers long. And then for the nose, I have another black 260 scrap. This one's a lot longer, it's 12 fingers, really you only need about eight. And then I use a red, I mean a yellow 260 scrap for the little tag on the collar if you wanna add some finishing touches. So what you're gonna do is grab your mocha heart balloon and you're gonna blow it up just a little bit. Just until you start to see the two humps of the heart shape. Then you wanna tie the knot near the end of the nozzle so you have lots of room to twist the balloon. And what you're gonna do is you're going to at the top, see this is the top of the heart, this is the bottom, you're gonna do a two finger bubble on one side, like that. All right, sometimes it stays in place, sometimes it doesn't. Grab your other mocha heart and inflate it the same amount, just until you see the two humps at the heart shape. Whoa, tie a knot near the end of the nozzle. Just for reference, it's about that big. And then you just give it a squish, and you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna tie about a two finger bubble at the top of the heart on one side. And I gotta redo my other one. So this one's also about two fingers. And now you just want to twist these two bubbles together. So that it looks like this. Now you're just going to go ahead and tie the two nozzle ends together. Excellent. This is going to be the top of the head. This is going to be the bottom of the head. So now you're going to grab your white 260. And inflate it until it has about a 10 finger tail. Now you're going to just twist the nozzle into these two bubbles at the base of your mocha heart shape. Okay, and now you're going to make a two finger bubble in the white 260. And then you want to pull this balloon through the two heart shaped balloons until this two finger bubble is going up and down. Then you're gonna make another little two finger bubble inside the head. And then you're just gonna make a pinch twist. So I have a pinch twist there. And now you're just gonna pull this balloon down and you're gonna bring it under the balloon head. Now you're gonna make a little five finger bubble. And then you wanna make a second five finger bubble the same size as this one. Okay, and you're just gonna twist that into these two round bubbles. Get rid of the extra.
So this is the front. It's kind of sticking out. This is the back. That's the bottom. Now you're gonna grab your white five inch round and you're gonna inflate it a little bit. So just about eight fingers. Now you have the nozzle down here. At the top, you're gonna make a little two finger bubble. And you wanna wrap this two finger bubble into the top of these two 160s here. Pull it over and around and then tuck it in. And now you wanna divide this into two bubbles. So this one should be about four fingers. And you're gonna pull this up and you're gonna twist this through the top of the hearts. So that's the front. This is the back. You're gonna pull this down and use this nozzle to twist into this pinch twist. And add the eyes and the nose. So you just want to grab your black 260 scrap, make a little one or two finger bubble for the eye. Grab your next black 260 scrap, do the same thing. Grab your last 260 black scrap. This one you want about a three finger bubble. So you have a tail on either end and you want to go ahead and tie these two tails together so you give the nose a more round, almost soft square type shape for the nose. Then you take one end and you're gonna tie one eye to it. Cut off the extra. Then you take the other end and you tie this other eye to it. Cut off the extra. All right, now what you're gonna do you're gonna put the nose right here and you're gonna pull the eyes back behind this white bubble and twist them around each other and then pull them out the opposite sides. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your white 160.
and you want to make a little five finger bubble. Make another little five finger bubble, same size as this one. Twist those two together. Wait, did we talk about how long the tail was? No, but you just, you're not gonna need that much. Then you wanna make another little five finger bubble. And another little five finger bubble. Same exact size, twist those two together. So you have four bubbles. And what you wanna do is you wanna just roll one of these in over the other. So you have this kind of a shape. Then you're gonna get rid of the extra, but you wanna save a little bit. Save some so you can attach this to the head. And then save this for the tail. Tie this off. And we're gonna use this to tie onto the top of the head. So we can give our Shih Tzu a ponytail. Now we're going to give it a little bow. So grab your red 160. About a 10 finger tail. And you want to make a loop, just a little two finger loop. And then make a little pinch twist. And make another little two finger loop. So you have a nice little bow shape. You want to put the bow in the front of the ponytail area and just wrap the balloon all the way around and twist it into the bow. Get rid of the extra. You really want to save the extra on the red for the collar and the tongue. Like so. Now you're ready to grab your Mocha 260. We're gonna inflate it so it just has about a six finger tail. Six or seven finger tail. Then you're gonna grab your white 260. You're going to inflate it until it has about an eight finger tail. Then you just tie these two together. Like so. Now you want to do a pinch twist in the white balloon and a pinch twist in the mocha balloon. And then just twist these two pinch twists together to lock it into place. Now we're going to go ahead and do 12 finger bubble. And then you want to bring the white back up, make a bubble the same size as the other one, twist that into the pink twist, get rid of the extra, tie this off. Wrapped around. Now you're gonna bring this mocha balloon back up over here and twist it into the pinch twist. And then bring it down the other side. When you measure where you want it, you just twist it off 
get rid of the extra. Tie this off. And now you just want to tie this into the bottom. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and do the back leg. So we're going to do one leg at a time. Some people can do both back legs with one balloon. Mine just, it doesn't matter how much I try, I have to use two balloons. So that's how I'm going to show you. You just have an eight or nine finger tail. You want to start with three little pinch twists. One, two, three. Three little pinch twists. Then you're going to make a little one finger bubble and a pinch twist. And now you're going to go ahead and make a seven finger loop. Twist that in place. Now you want to make a little one finger bubble and a pinch twist. And then you're just going to pull this one finger bubble and the pinch twist up inside the loop. Like so. Now you're going to make a four finger bubble and two pinch twists. And you're going to get rid of the extra. Tie this off. Wrap it in. Okay, grab your next white 260. We'll make the other leg. You're just going to twist this nozzle into the two pinch twists. And you're going to do a little four finger bubble. And then you want to do a pinch twist. And a little one finger bubble. And then you want to do a seven finger loop. Then you're going to do a pinch twist and a little one finger bubble and then three pinch twists. One, two, three. Then get rid of the extra, tie this off. And then you're going to go ahead and pull this pinch twist and this one finger balloon that's coming off of the four finger balloon here, you want to pull it into the loop. Twist the foot around so both feet are facing the same direction. So this is what it looks like. Now we're going to pull this through the body. This is the top of the body, this is the bottom. So we're going to pull these through the bottom. In between the white and the mocha. And then you want to pull it down. Now we're going to go ahead and do the front paws. So you're going to grab your white 260. Inflate it till it has about a six finger tail. Six or seven, doesn't matter. You're going to start with three little pinch twists. One, 
two, three. Three little pinch twists. Now you're gonna go ahead and slide the balloon in between the mocha and the white. And what you wanna do is measure this pop so that it comes down a little bit farther than the, a little bit farther than the feet. Once you figure that out, then you put a twist in and you want to push that twist up into the top of the balloons there. Okay, now you want this one to be the same length, this one to be the same length. And now do three little pin twists. And get rid of the extra. Tie this off. And now you wanna go ahead and twist these pinch twists together. And then you just pull these down. and it sits really nicely. Okay, we're gonna add a tail. So you wanna grab your white 160 scrap. Inflate it till it has about a four finger tail. And you're gonna make a little four finger bubble. And then you're gonna make three little one finger bubbles. One, two, three. And then another little four finger bubble. And twist that together. So you have that. Now you want to make another little four finger bubble. And you're gonna twist this in between these two one finger bubbles here. And then you do another little four finger bubble and twist that into the bottom. And you wanna do another little four finger bubble and twist that in between these two one finger bubbles. And then you do one last little four finger bubble. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. And then just tie this into the bottom here and save this part. Wrap it through. Like so, and now we're gonna use this to attach the tail to the back here. Just tie it around this middle mocha. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and still sits perfectly. You want to attach the head these two bubbles to the two pinch twists on the body. Oh, the best way to do that is to grab one of your scraps, like your white 160 scrap. I mean, you can try twisting them in, but it's a lot faster if you just grab a scrap and tie it around.
So now I've got this, and I'm just going to tie this around here. All right. So that's how it looks right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the collar to put the head where we want it. So you just grab your red 160 scrap and inflate it. Until you have about 20 fingers. And you're just gonna pull this around. the head and just tie it together. Get rid of the extra. Save it, we're gonna use it for the tongue. You're going to grab your little yellow 260 scrap and make a little tag or bobble for the collar. Just about a two finger bubble. give it a tongue so I just take the last of my red 160 scrap and I do a little two maybe tiny three finger bubble just real small I like to make it soft and squishy And then I just tuck this up into this white area here. There you have it. This is the Shih Tzu. If you liked the video, click like below, or you can leave me feedback in the comments section. Um, Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do release videos on a regular basis, or you can check me out on Facebook, Balloon Animals Palm Beach, or um, go to my website, balloonanimalspalmbeach.com for more information. Thanks.